In a hospital, it's important to practice good hand hygiene to prevent the spread of germs. Here are examples showing how easy it is for germs to spread if you do not practice good hand hygiene. This is Madam Tan and she is at SGH for her medical appointment. Her daughter is accompanying her for a checkup. Along the way, Madam Tan stops to visit the toilet. Hey, you forgot to wash your hands! As they are early for the appointment, they decide to get a snack. Oh, mister, please sneeze into a tissue. Great! The germs are now spreading! Oh no! Now Madam Tan has more germs on her hands! Welcome time! Wait! You forgot to wash your hands first! <sighs> Too late! This girl is here to visit her sister who has been admitted to a ward. Hey! Please cough into a tissue! Hold on! You should clean your hands before entering a ward. See, now you have spread your germs to your sick sister. As you can see, it's easy for germs to spread if you do not practice good hand hygiene. Why is hand hygiene important? Hand hygiene minimizes the spread of germs and infections. Most foodborne disease outbreaks are spread by contaminated hands. Hand hygiene can reduce the risk of respiratory infections by up to 16%. Lastly, hand hygiene can reduce diarrhea disease-associated deaths by up to 50%. Let's recap to see how good hand hygiene could have been practiced. Wash hands after using the toilet to get rid of germs. Sneeze into a tissue or cough into a tissue to prevent germs from spreading onto your hands. Then throw the tissue into a bin and use an alcohol-based hand rub to get rid of any germs. Before and after touching a patient, use an alcohol-based hand rub or wash your hands with soap and water. This gets rid of germs that may pass on from visitor to patient and vice versa. Remember, everyone has a part to play when it comes to hand hygiene. So, spread good hand hygiene, not the germs.